This technology of advanced oxidation process using photochemical oxidation has the proven capability of destroying a majority of the non-biodegradable organic pollutants and bringing down the chemical oxygen demand by 80 to 95% in the treated wastewater. The technology is a physiochemical process to treat contaminated water that contains toxic and non-biodegradable pollutants. The process involves oxidizing non-biodegradable toxic pollutants to carbon dioxide and water. I was working in a paper mill somewhere in uh, central India where we had a good effluent treatment plant. Using that effluent treatment plant, we could achieve all other parameters as per the dischargeable norms. But unfortunately, we were never able to. We were never be able to comply the chemical oxygen demand. Okay. Finally, we have to we have to close down that factory, and we have to close down the factory. You know, this is the basic reality. How much a chemical oxygen demand can create havoc on industries? Okay. From that day itself, I was thinking that we have to develop a technology which will exclusively destroy chemical oxygen demand. The advantage of this is when you go to destroy the chemical oxygen demand, naturally the biological oxygen demand will also get destroyed. Existing biological treatment processes have failed in treating non-biodegradable contamination, which results in high levels of chemical oxygen demand residue in treated wastewater. The new technology will be a useful tool in protecting freshwater bodies like rivers and lakes that are regularly contaminated by industrial and other wastes. Unlike the biological processes, this technology involves physiochemical principles which enable effective photochemical oxidation. We follow the nature's principle. Nature, uh, nature purifies rivers using ultraviolet rays. So I realized this ultraviolet rays has got that potential to purify the rivers. So what, I, what we did was, we have used this ultraviolet light in, in combination, the technology is known as photochemical oxidation. Photo means light particles. Chemical means the chemicals, whatever we use. The chemicals what we use is hydrogen peroxide or hypochlorite, sodium hypochlorite. All of you know sodium hypochlorite is also used for bleaching. Sodium hypochlorite, hydrogen peroxide or ozone. Ozone, all of you know. Ozone layer, how important it is for the human being, for the air, it is all, all of you know. So a combination of ultraviolet along with these oxidizing chemicals, I have developed a process called photochemical oxidation. Having characterized several effluents generated from different industries, photochemical oxidation has emerged as a viable and efficient technology for elimination of organics from water and wastewater streams. The patent for this technology is pending in India. The technology has been developed on a lab scale and has undergone pilot plant trials. With funding and research, this technology may be developed for various specific areas of application and has been awarded by the Fiki DST Lockheed Martin India Innovation Growth Programme.